Cambodia, a beautiful country with a tragic past. From Buddhism to Hinduism and back from kings to the Khmer Rouge, and yet the truth remains ever true. Cambodia needs Jesus. The poor, the rich, the abused, hope is found in Jesus. Okay, I am the, also the wound care nurse, and I saw a little boy that got bit by a fish today on the bottom of his foot, and so I was able to just clean it up and give him some band-aids, which he would have never had before. He probably would have had a very infected foot. This year we have an awesome team. It consists of people that are diverse backgrounds. And then again, we have kids. <laughs> It was exciting for me to uh, teach the children this morning. I wasn't sure what level that they're gonna be because they, most of them doesn't have an education at all. And I was to teach about creation and I have nothing at all. I have no crop, no picture in it. It was amazingly, the kids were well respond, they memorized the Bible words and they excited and they really loved to learn the two American words, the sun and the moon. village of Tachi right now and I was pulling teeth all day today on little kids, mostly on little kids. I thought it was kind of sad how some of these kids, when they open their mouths, it's, every tooth was rotten and I could only pick one to take it out. But if you take every tooth out, then they're not going to make teeth to chew with, so that was kind of sad. As, as a pharmacist, one of the uh, funniest things I ever saw was uh, the children are always apprehensive when they come to get, uh, they're afraid they're going to get a shot, so, you know, a needle, an injection. So this little boy was standing there, and I didn't realize it, but there was a puddle under him. And I grabbed my rag, I was going to clean it up, I thought someone spilled water, but he actually had a little accident because he was so afraid of coming to the pharmacy to get some meds that he peed on the floor.